In this video, I'm going to go over the handling capabilities of a Toyota Tacoma in snow and ice conditions. This is my 2016 TRD off-road model that's equipped with four-wheel drive. Now, when I bought this vehicle, I was a little bit concerned about how the handling would be in snow and ice because in general, pickups don't get the best reputation for handling great in snow and ice conditions because they don't have a lot of weight in the rear. And so I wanted to make a video to share with other viewers um, that might be looking at getting a pickup um, or specifically a Tacoma and may share the same concerns, share a little bit about my experience with this vehicle um, and hopefully that'll be helpful for you. So one of the things that I do want to point out that's really important to help with handling on any vehicle is the type of tires that you have is going to make a huge amount of difference. Probably more difference than whether or not you even have a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive vehicle. And so we've got um, all-terrain snow tires here. Um, you can see that they're siped here. Um, and so these handle pretty good in the snow. Um, you can also get studded tires and then strictly um, winter tires. These are kind of an all, all season tire and so they um, can be left on year round, um, still get decent gas mileage, but pretty good handling in snow and ice conditions. That makes a huge difference in the handling of this vehicle. So one of the important distinctions to make about the Tacoma, and I've actually got another video on my channel that covers this, is the difference between an all wheel drive system and a four wheel drive system. Um, if you're curious to know the difference between the two, I'll put a link in the description below to uh, give you an opportunity to view that video. The Tacoma is fitted with a four-wheel drive system, which means there's a transfer case, and using this dial, you can adjust between two-wheel drive and four-high, and then there's also a four-low function that's used more for off-road driving. The nice thing about this system is that it allows you to uh, flip the switch on the fly and transfer between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Now one of the things that is extremely important is in snow and ice conditions you need to have the vehicle in four-wheel drive for the Tacoma to handle at all well. If you have it in two-wheel drive it makes a significant difference in the amount that the vehicle will spin out and fishtail. That's the first thing that I noticed with the Tacoma is that if you don't have four-wheel drive or you don't have the four-wheel drive activated it's not going to handle very well in snow and ice conditions. Um, if you do have that four-wheel drive activated, it makes a huge difference and the vehicle, vehicle can handle very well. Now, one of the things about four-wheel drive systems and the fact that they have a transfer case um, is that there's a limit on how fast you should drive the vehicle in four-wheel drive. Um, on the Toyota Tacoma, they recommend that you don't go over 55 miles an hour. Now, in general, that's not going to be a huge issue because if there's really inclement weather conditions, traffic is going to dictate a lower speed anyway. But there are situations where you may have a mix of dry pavement and some icy patches and vehicles may be driving quite a bit faster than 55. And in those situations, with the Tacoma, that is one downside, is that you should stay between 50 or below 55 miles an hour in order to protect the transfer case. Going above that um, can cause damage or premature wear to the system. Now the fact that you can switch the vehicle on the fly between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is helpful for those driving conditions. If you are on dry pavement, there's patches of ice, you can switch it on and off. The only risk is that the, um, the delay on turning that system on, it is a few seconds. And if there's ice or snow that you don't see on the road and you're driving a two-wheel drive, there's the potential that you'll hit those spots before you have time to react and switch the vehicle into four-wheel drive. Now I just want to give a quick demonstration here of how easily the vehicle switches between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive just with the switch of a button. Um, it's something that I do really appreciate about this vehicle. Older four-wheel drives, you actually had to get out of the vehicle to make that switch. Um, and then they used to have a lever that you'd have to switch, which worked fine as well, but it's pretty amazing how easy this system works. So we just flip that to two-wheel drive and it's complete. So the vehicle is now in two-wheel drive. Um, we're gonna switch it back to four-wheel drive just because of the conditions of the road. Overall, in the time that I've owned my Tacoma, my assessment has been that it actually handles quite well in snow and ice conditions. And I live in a high altitude climate and make a lot of trips up to the mountain to do skiing. And um, so I get the opportunity to experience quite a variety of snow and ice conditions. Um, I've been very impressed with how well the Tacoma handles um, in just about any condition. 
Now, my other vehicle is an Audi Q5, which has an all-wheel drive system. And I do want to point out that that vehicle actually does handle better um, in, in snow and ice conditions on a highway. It's not as capable as the Tacoma is driving off-road, but for general, um, just driving on paved, paved roads when there's snow and ice, that vehicle does handle a little bit better. I feel a little more confident in driving at higher speeds, um, but the Tacoma, like I said, handles very well, um, and I don't regret purchasing this vehicle, despite the fact that I do drive in a lot of snow and ice conditions. One downside of the four-wheel drive system in the Toyota Tacoma, and this is common among all four-wheel drive systems, is that driving on dry pavement at really low speeds or making uh, corners at low speeds, pulling into parking spots, four-wheel drive system really struggles. And the reason for that is that a four-wheel drive system evenly distributes power to both uh, wheels on the axle. Um, and so when you're pulling into a parking spot, it's trying to give the same amount of power to both wheels. In an all-wheel drive system, it'll transfer the majority of that power to the outside wheel, less on the inside, and allows you to make that corner very smoothly. Likewise, if you don't have the four-wheel drive activated, the differential is going to take care of that, where it's going to allow the outside wheel to spin more than the inside wheel to make a nice smooth corner um, into that spot. And so that is one downside of the four-wheel drive system, is that when you're pulling into a parking spot or if you're making a turn at very low speeds, um, the four-wheel drive is not going to be as smooth with that. Sometimes you're going to need to turn it into two-wheel drive just to get into that parking spot or to make that sharp corner. And so that is one downside of the system. So overall, the Tacoma handles quite well in snow and ice conditions. There are those few areas where there's some downsides to it. Specifically, if you're driving at real highway speeds going over 55 miles an hour, it's not a good idea to have it in four-wheel drive because of potential damage to the transfer case. Um, likewise, when you're driving at really low speeds, um, pulling into a parking spot, trying to make a corner, um, and if there's a mix of dry pavement and especially, the Tacoma is going to have a little bit of trouble in those situations. You're going to have to turn that two-wheel drive off um, at those lower speeds. Um, and so just uh, you know, a few downsides, but in general, it handles very well. Um, I, when the four-wheel drives on, I feel, see very little uh, fish tailing from the vehicle, very little wheel spin. Uh, it seems to handle quite well um, and not something that I would be too concerned about if you're looking at getting a Tacoma and you're concerned about the capability in snow and ice. In general, it's going to be very capable, especially if you've got it fitted with good tires. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. For more videos on the 2016 Toyota Tacoma, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.